Well, happy Friday, everybody. Made it to the end of a hazy business week and still seeing that haze right now on our Luther Family Ford Skycam in South Fargo. You can see uh, the Sanford Hospital there on the horizon just uh, obscured a little bit there. Uh, by that haze, but it's not nearly looking as bad as it has the past couple days, which is good news. That south wind we've had has been kind of moving that haze along and pushing that back up into Canada. You can still see some reduced visibilities, though, mainly in Grand Forks, five miles that visibility at this hour, uh, but pretty much elsewhere, visibilities are not being affected by that uh, haze we have. But that may not be the case necessarily for the weekend, and we'll talk about that wildfire smoke forecast in a couple seconds. But you can see things quiet for most everybody. Maybe uh, just extreme eastern Beltrami County seeing a nearly stationary uh, heavy shower there. And near the upper Red Lake, it looks like, and then uh, into portions of our western viewing area, you see near Ellendale seeing a um, moving, at least, it's not stationary, it is moving from northwest to southeast through the Ellendale area with uh, some heavy downpours there occurring in Ellendale as we speak. But notice uh, these are not really organized and are just your run-of-the-mill showers and thunderstorms. So not severe at any uh, by any means, but some much needed rainfall regardless occurring in those areas as those move off toward the south. You see kind of that rain cooled air there outside of Jamestown, uh, but most everybody at this hour in the 80s, still 90 in Roseau as one of the hot spots, 79 in Oaks, also maybe seeing some uh, rain cooled air moving through that thermometer there in the Oaks area, but uh, by and large a mild, we'll say a warm evening in store for us on this Friday. So the hour by hour for tonight shows the south wind does lit up a little bit, but toward 10 o'clock, we could see some redevelopment of some showers and storms in our western neighborhoods, uh, but those will actually be moving westward into portions of central North Dakota. So for most of us, things stay quiet for us, and I'm not expecting any severe storms overnight tonight by any means in our western neighborhoods either. Just some much needed rainfall, hopefully for those folks in the Harvey areas and maybe even Carrington and even perhaps Tusman County also. Tomorrow morning, you see temperatures in the 60s to get us going. And that's setting the stage for a hot afternoon. By lunchtime, already moving into the 80s for those temperatures. Plenty of sunshine for tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, though, again, could see a pop-up shower or storm here or there, but not looking like anything organized for us in regard to any type of precipitation. But we see 80s and 90s for those temperatures by dinner time tomorrow. And then any pop-up showers and storms we may see in the afternoon look to fizzle out by sunset once we lose the energy from the sun. So you see clear skies continue uh, for the 10 o'clock hour on Saturday, and things stay clear into Sunday as well. But the wildfire smoke forecast, I want to show this to you because this is Saturday at 8 a.m. We do see some improvement of the hazy conditions. That lighter blue indicates case thinner haze, but we do see as you go into Saturday afternoon, some haze actually being wrapped around uh, with southerly winds back up into our Minnesota neighborhood. So still could see some hazy conditions across uh, Minnesota as we head toward the evening and afternoon hours on Saturday. But some of that haze is going to move into the metros of Grand Forks and Fargo as well for Sunday. But again, I'm hoping it won't be nearly as bad as it has been for the past uh, week, it feels like. And also summer heat returning. The pink you see here, that's triple digit temperatures. So as early as Tuesday and Wednesday, we're expecting temperatures near triple digits for quite a few folks into Thursday, into Friday as well. So that's why we have that first alert weather day for Wednesday because that's the beginning of a prolonged period of hot temperatures next week. Hometown forecast shows plenty of sunshine, 80s and 90s for our Saturday, and these guys can enjoy some of that warm weather. On a hazy morning, Carrie shared this picture of the doggos from Grand Forks. So here's how things look through the weekend. Sunday, even a bit warmer, low 90s may have some lingering smoke on Sunday, but Stacy, there's the heat really moving in for the middle and latter part of next week, where some folks could be in triple digits for four days in a row next week. Wow. All right. He is back with the vengeance. That's Thanks, right. Nathan. Yep. The Clay County Fair is on coming up next. We'll tell you about an event tomorrow that has people talking.